Welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will learn about Clean Room Software Engineering. So, what is Clean Room Software Engineering, and what are the approaches for software development? In software development, how Clean Room approach is used, right? So, let's discuss about it. Clean Room approach for software development is the way of software development in which software defects are avoided by using formal methods of development. and rigorous inspection process right so in clean room software engineering basically the software development methodology is this it is a kind of philosophy in which the defects are avoided by using formal methods of development and rigorous inspect uh, inspection process okay so what is this we will learn in just upcoming slides right objective of this approach is zero defective software okay so to make zero defect software this approach is used now the clean room software engineering is based on five strategic strategies okay so what are the five strategic activities on which the clean room software engineering is based the first one is formal specification right so in formal specification the software that is developed would be formally specified okay so the software that we want to develop would be formally specified and after that the development would be start so this is the first of the most strategic activity in the clean room approach software development the second one is incremental development okay so the software is partitioned into increments suppose we want to make a software then we parts into uh, modules okay into means we part it into increments and we will develop and validate separately using clean room process okay means suppose a customer is giving its requirement then we would only make some in uh, initial part then we will increment from the next version onwards and from the next version onwards we will again in increment the model and validate separately by using clean room process okay so these increments are input by the customer at an early stage in the development process okay so when we start to develop a pro, uh, software at the early stage of the software development these increments are inputted by the customers and then developer would work on that right means the model is not developed completely first it will be uh, divided into some kind of partition and after that incrementally it will work on that software project right now the third one is structural programming so the structural programming is again the strategic activity of clean room approach in this the software is step wise refinement of the specification suppose the specification is given to us that we want to develop this we want to develop this we also require this we also require this right so the step wise refinement of the specification would be done under the structural programming right limited number of data abstract and constructs are used in this and by using limited number of abstract and constructs so the confusion would be less the complexity would be less right so the defects chances of getting defects would be less after completion of the project so the structural programming is used for the project requirement okay so step wise refinement of the specification would be done under this process and the next is static verification in static verification the developed software statically verified using rigorous software inspections right so the uh, static verification is there in which the uh, software will be developed statically verified using rigorous software inspection there is no unit or module testing for code components if you have uh, read uh, uh, the other models of software engineering which we will uh, uh, which we will cover in our upcoming lectures in which uh, separate unit testing of the modules will be done and after that a complete integration testing would be done right separate module testing would be done so in the clean room approach this kind of uh, testing is not there right the uh, there is a statically verified using rigorous software inspection we will we will verify the software code there by using rigorous software inspection right so this term is useful and you can note this term specifically in the purpose of clean soft uh, clean room software engineering right rigorous software inspection and formally specified specifications right and the fifth one is statistical testing of the system so what are statistical testing of the system the integrated software incremented is tested statistically to determine its reliability that whether the software is working according to the requirement or not so this would be done by using statistical te uh, testing of the system right so let's take an example uh, of this 
clean room process by via DFD so that you can understand uh, very good through this flow diagram, right? First, you will formally specify the system. After that, you uh, define of the software increment would be there, right? So a specification of formally specified here. Then develop operational profile throughout define of uh, software increment, right? After that, we have to construct the structured program which would work according to stepwise uh, progress of the software code right after that formally verified code would be there would which would be verified statistically uh, statically right and after that integrated increment would be there which would be tested uh, integrated uh, system via uh, statistical testing right this is the one of the method and the next one is after uh, software increments we have to design statistical test and we will integrate the system right if integrated system occurs any error in rework then we would again repeat the same process from structured program to formal verified code and after that the final integrated increment of the software would be done so you can make this flow diagram to understand the clean room approach clearly right and three more terms are important here the clean room teams discusses the team organization for the clean room process means the clean room team will discuss the team organization for the clean room process rigorous inspection explains the inspection approach which we have used for the testing right so this is the rigorous inspection and clean room experience discusses the experiences with the clean room approach and its effectiveness right so i think you have learned the clean room software engineering further you can make notes by pausing the video at the several inter intervals so that you can also revise it properly further if you want any kind of study material from our side you can comment your email id and please subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that in our upcoming video lectures where we will upload a very important video lectures you can't miss them and score very high marks in your upcoming exam site so guys have a nice day. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.